There, it's Mike Haller again. Uh, we're going to look at the cabin and uh, we've got uh, the second story up and uh, we're going to go look at it. So here it goes. So there is the uh, there is the cabin and we're going to go uh, take a look. One of the things I want you to see is um, the, the roof line is up and I'm going to show you how we got the roof line um, when it's pretty hard to measure that. So let's go down to the cabin. Okay, so here's the cabin and you can see we have all the walls up and the second floor deck and the framing of the roof and um, this piece and, and the first tr sort of trial rafter there is sitting on the roof line. But um, this piece here that's sitting on the ladder, you see, and it has a couple of clamps on it. That's what I use to find the place where the top of the roof goes. Okay, so here we are on the roof of the cabin, looking back from the way we were before. And... Um, you can see there's the there's where the tip of the roof is the ridge ridge pole as they call it and over here is this the way I figured out where the ridge should be by taking a piece of 2 by 6 and clamping it onto this ladder using a C clamp and then taking a couple of wood clamps and clamping it at an angle to the top of this, or to the place where I thought this piece would be. And then that, I put this whole ladder system over on the edge of the um, deck before any of this other stuff was up here. So I could start empirically measuring how far it is from where the ridge pole is down to this uh, top plate over here on, on this side wall. So that, I wanted to show you that. It's sort of like a jig in order to measure empirically. The only other thing I was thinking about showing you was a couple of safety things, like here. This is the place where the ladder is going to go to the first floor. And it's always a good idea to cover it with something that's nailed down so you can't, like, kick it out of the way and fall through the, the hole. And then I wanted to show you the plumb bob here. This is a piece of brass which is hanging by a string that goes all the way up here to the center line of the of the post. It's actually off slightly but and the thing about a plumb bob is it gives you uh, vertical measurement in two directions you know this way and that way so we can see that it's pretty close to where that X is on the floor and um, the way that it's off I think is just that this this uh, header here is you can see it's a little bit wider than this so I think it's actually okay and then um, other things, just FYI, you might want to keep in mind that um, clamps are a really useful thing for this kind of work to push things into place. And um, also a sledgehammer, that's a really good useful tool to have, again, to push things in place. I used to have a smaller sledgehammer, a, a, like a three pound sledge, which is really helpful because it's the size of a hammer, but it really lets you move things around. So that's it for now. We have the uh, we have this almost up and th this piece here is a sort of practice rafter that I made the bird's mouth cuts in. You can see down here and I'm fitting it again empirically to see how it doesn't fit like here and also the, the real rafters are going to be longer. So that'll be the next thing the next time we visit um, that'll be all up. Uh, all the rafters will be up and, and maybe the roof will be sheathed and like that. So that's it for now. 
And until next time, we'll see you.